What's up weirdos? I don't know if I've ever seen somebody so quickly and so easily get everybody to hate them. This TikToker, Sophia Lacourt, she posted a video basically unprompted and it was so bad. Like, I don't know how when she posted what I'm about to show you, she posted. I don't know how she thought this is going to make people like me and actually think I'm relatable and cool. This is one of those stories that's so juicy. It's just interpersonal drama between these two TikTokers that's so public and it's like everybody's talking about it. And normally there's like a little bit of division where it's like, oh, I don't know. I kind of like this person. No, 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 no. This time, Oh my God, when you watch the videos, let's just get into them so you can see like her tone. All you need to know is that this is like a three part series that she posted talking about how she got canceled for no reason. And the situation that she's trying to present is that there was this guy who was single and then she dated him. And then that guy's ex got really mad at her for no reason. And everybody was single, so who cares? Which when you say it like that is like, yeah, why would that be weird? But then the story came out and yeah, let's just watch. Let's do red carpet full glam. I tell you about the time a girl I met maybe three times canceled me and got me destroyed on the internet. When I say destroyed, I mean like, <gasps> I'm glad it happened to me because I genuinely wouldn't wish it on my worst enemy. I had probably like a thousand to 3000 DMs. That's her tone of voice, which if she's in the right, it's totally fair, but she's being so condescending that you have to feel like she has to be right. She's like, it's just genuinely, <laughs> it's crazy. Like she tried to get me canceled. Oh. I'll let her talk for a second. Cause we need to see the video that like got this whole thing to blow up. And I don't want to spoil too much, but I'm going to have to interject and give a little bit of context in a second, because the fact that she's talking like this, when it is what it is. Okay. Let's, let's go. I'm going to start the story at the date with this man who was very sweet. He lives about 10 minutes away from me in New York. And he took me out to this beautiful, beautiful restaurant. And we had such a great date that we wanted to get drinks afterwards. We got drinks at this really, really nice hotel lobby and it was so much fun. And I genuinely remember being like so excited. I don't go on a lot of first dates, so it's really rare that you get a good first date. I remember on the first date, we were about to leave the bar. So we both went to the restroom and he turned around and grabbed me and kissed me. And I remember like I, I had butterflies like never before. He was super talkative, super fun, and so sweet, and very masculine. Everything about him was wonderful. Okay, what a nice sounding date. Now let me give you a little bit of context, because that is crazy what she's doing right now. Okay, context, context, context. This is Sophia. There is another girl named Hallie. Hallie, Haley. I don't know how we're saying them these days. I think it's Hallie. This is Hallie Kate. So there's Sophia, and then there's Hallie. As you can see, they're both influencers. And at the beginning of Sophia's video, she said, how a girl who I met like maybe three times tried to cancel me, like genuinely crazy. Genuinely so crazy. The guy that she's talking about going on a date with is Hallie's ex. Now, what if I told you that Hallie's ex is not an influencer and the only way that Sophia knew this guy, his name's Reed, is because she met him through her. They're in the same like social circle of influencers who like hang out, like have mutuals, talk, like do things together. They are together in that. So the only way that she knows this guy who is like offline is because he's known as Hallie's boyfriend. And when they're all like hanging out, she has like seen him. Now, Hallie and Reed had dated for nine months and then they broke up in November of 2023. Now, let me show you a little clip. The blue shirt, that's Reed, and then next to him is Hallie. And they're talking about the reason that he had like dumped her. So just listen to what he says real quick. They broke up in November, 2023. I just need to take a step back and just do my own thing. And I learned a lot about myself during that time and good and mostly bad, but I think I just realized that I'm a better person when I'm around her. And okay, now if you're watching that, you're probably thinking they're talking about why he broke up with her, but then he's also saying like he's a better person around her. Yeah, they are back together. That's the thing. They are back together. Sophia did not know about him except for through Hallie. They break up and they go on this date. By the way, I guess it's like not that terrible to do. Like, uh, whatever. I still think like, don't do that. And there's, there's more layers. There's a lot to this. But I think that if you meet somebody specifically because there's somebody in your like circle of people that you're like hanging out with and you're group and you meet them only because they're one of the people who you're in the group with their significant other when they break up it's kind of weird for you guys to like go on a date and like try to try to get together i think that that's weird but i think it's more weird when those two people who broke up get back together and the person who went on a date with that guy which already is a little bit uh, to then go and post a tiktok series where she's saying stuff like this let me take you back he turned around and grabbed me and kissed me and i remember like i, I had butterflies like never before he was super talkative, super fun, and so sweet and very masculine. Everything about him was wonderful. As I'm watching this, knowing that it's like, she's posting this, knowing that everybody knows who it is. Everybody knows who this is. This is kind of like blown up a little bit before. Cause she was saying like, she got thousands of DMs about it. Like people knew about this. This was a thing. How did people know that it was a thing? Because she took him to like a very public restaurant where it's like known that influencers go there a lot and people uh, spotted them and were like posting them everywhere being like, uh, kind of weird that Sophia's on a date with Reed. Anybody else think that's 
that's crazy weird? As you can see, 2023, December, right after they broke up, in response to people like posting about how, oh, Sophia's dating Hallie's ex, even though that that's the only way they know each other is through her. That is weird. That's when Hallie posted this. And the song that she's lip syncing to is Taylor Swift Karma, and I'd get a copyright claim. So I just gotta, I just gotta do it myself. I keep my side of the street clean. Something about karma is my, so I keep my side of the street clean. She's addressing the situation. She's lip syncing some Taylor addressing the situation. She's posted multiple things about this though. This one more about her boyfriend than about Sophia. When my dog knows my boyfriend dumped me and that I miss waking up with balls in my face. So he sleeps like this. Or finally this one, which is a little bit more uh, direct. Guys, as much as this is a horrible situation, please do not send anyone hate. This is just me sharing my experience, which I have every right to, but an excessive amount of people saying mean things will get us nowhere. I'm embarrassed this is even online, to be honest. I never would have brought it to social media if it wasn't for the fact that people started making videos and now I feel like I need to explain. After the pod today, I will not talk about this situation again. Trust me. And by the way, all of this is very public knowledge. People who are following Sophia and following Hallie like fully know all of this information. So the fact that Sophia today is coming out posting these types of videos being like, he's just so masculine and he gave me butterflies and it was like so sweet. I've never had a first day like that. Knowing that everybody knows what she's talking about and that they're back together. That's the only thing that it is. Anyways, I don't want to like watch the whole podcast thing. So just like, let me, let me break it down for you. I'll show you a couple clips. Basically, Hallie, Sophia, and Jazz, which God, I love the name Jazz. You like Jazz? That's Hallie's friend. They hung out at an influencer dinner or just a, you know, friendship dinner. I guess it's influencers can be friends. And apparently it went really well. They were like, oh my God, we're having so much fun. We should hang out more. This is Hallie telling what the situation was. They all went to Hallie's apartment at one point. They like dropped stuff off. Then they went to a bar all together. Just the three of them. Girls night. Oh my God, we should do this more often. And then the next day and pictures are being posted of Sophia on a date with Reed. The day after. The day after. Oh girl, that is so mean. And let me bring you back. Knowing this information, let me bring you back. I'm glad it happened to me because I genuinely wouldn't wish it on my worst enemy. It happened to me. I genuinely, that, what happened to you? Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Okay. Back to, back to the podcast. Now, if you're keeping up with the timelines, they broke up in November. The very beginning of December was when she was posting things about like, Ugh, yeah, I know I'll address it. So freshly broken up. And then the day after hanging out with her, going on a date with her ex that she only knows because of her. I'm failing to understand why she would post a video being like, oh my God. Uh, this girl, she tried to cancel it. You're being mean. You are a mean girl. I sometimes forget that people like, I guess just love being mean as much as they can. I'm trying to figure out like, what's the motive? Like, okay, is there miscommunication? Like what's going on here? No, people are just mean sometimes. Anyways, in podcast, Hallie had said that she considers Sophia a friend and she didn't believe that it was true. She was like, yeah, it must've been somebody else. So she texted Sophia, Sophia didn't respond. And according to Hallie, what happened was the night that they were hanging out, Sophia went through Hallie's following list found Reed and then messaged him. And listen to this, let me, let me cut to a little clip now. Very hurtful that they were messaging about me. He, I think he had asked something along the lines of, I did not read the messages, this is just, I'm getting this information from him. Um, something along the lines of, is it bold that you're asking me on a date considering like, you know, Hallie and whatever. I, he didn't know, to be fair to him, that she was literally with me while messaging him, so. Yeah. That's, it is what it is, but he very much knew we knew each other and we were friendly. First of all, Reed, I mean, listen, they had broken up and Hallie is back together with him. So clearly he was like very repentant. If she's able to forgive him and get back together, listen, I think it's kind of wild to, you know, go on a date with her, but you know. The fact that he even was like, don't you think this is kind of weird? And then clearly she was like, no, come on. Cause they went on the date. But the fact that they were literally hanging out together, hanging out together. And that's when Sophia reached out to Reed asking him out on a date. That's when. I mean, girl, you must be out of your damn mind if you think that's anything but just mean bullying. That's so terrible to do to somebody. Okay, 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 okay. There's so much to this though, and I want to get back to her like story time. Also, we're gonna get to some receipts later. Anyways, when that podcast was posted a month afterwards, Sophia and Brad, Brad Mondo, that's a whole other side of the Sophia lore. They, I guess, launched their podcast and they started talking about it. And just look at the way they're talking. The drama surrounding you and this girl, Hallie. Beep. <laughs> don't say her name. I don't want her to get the beat. Hallie, 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 Hallie. Yeah, that's, that's, that's what she said when they were first introducing the topic. Uh, don't say her name. I don't want her to get any hate. Why the fuck would she get any hate? What are you talking about? How delusional are you that you think that Hallie would get hate for this situation? Like, what did she do wrong? Are you insane? We're obviously not here to bash her today. I don't give a fuck. I don't even know who she is. Neither do I. I mean, I've seen her videos, but I don't know who, who she is personally. I've met her a total of maybe three times. Maybe. Maybe. Possibly. Spoke to her one-on-one, -on -one, never. Yeah. Okay, but you were hanging out with her and 
one of her other friends and then you went to her apartment and were hanging out and then you uh, went to her following list and reached out to her recently ex-boyfriend and asked him on a date while you were with her. So, uh, this, we maybe hung out three times. Uh, I don't buy it. And also, we know what the situation is. Honestly, I'm not looking at this like, oh, she's such a terrible friend. That was her best friend. Why would she do this? I'm looking at her like a human being who did this to another human being and they knew each other. They were just hanging out that night. I don't care if she was a stranger to you. If that was the first night that you ever met her and you were hanging out with her and her friend and you found out that she was freshly broken up with this boyfriend who is not at all connected to you except through her. Which, by the way, why would you ever be interested in going on a date with him if you didn't have some sort of close enough connection with her to actually know about him? Because he's not an influencer. You only know about him through her. So why would you want to go on a date with him if you didn't know him or her at all? That doesn't even make... Like, uh, it doesn't add up. I'm trying to do math right now and 2 plus 6 equals X? Girl, you're saying it's 9, but I'm pretty sure it's 8. Point being, even if it was a stranger, it's so mean to go to her freshly ex-boyfriend and then go on a date with him, messaging him the time that you're with her. That's so mean. That's objectively so mean. I don't care. And also, you're wrong. You're lying. And Brad, Brad, okay, Brad, Brad, Brad Mondo, listen, Brad. I know you have like a hair care line. Brad, listen, Brad, Brad. Actually, I'll just get into it later. Brad, 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 Brad. Okay, let's keep going. You, you did say. not say anything to this girl publicly. You did not shame well, did not. her. You I could mean, have, yeah. I don't, I mean, <laughs> I'm still not. Honestly, I'm not. I'm just kind of describing the situation that went on so other women that go through this yeah, but you didn't can start learn. It. You didn't start it. I literally did nothing. <laughs> Absolutely nothing. Well, I don't think you're like... I think you did go out with her ex-boyfriend. I did. I her mean, ex-boyfriend. That could be considered something wrong. It's not, though. To this girl, it could be. Brad, you're being a little bit of a voice of reason, but no. There's just no world. There's just no world. Okay, I don't care what you say. I don't I don't care. Uh, Ex-boyfriend. Okay, a lot of people are ex-boyfriends of a lot of people, but it's still mean if you go out with somebody who you only know through this person that you're friends with. You are friends with her. You only know about this guy through her. You're close enough with her that you know about her. You're close enough with her that you know about him. And clearly close enough that you find him interesting enough to date. And you were going through her following and messaging him while you were with her. So if I'm describing the situation, Situation, the honest reaction is just that's me. I did absolutely nothing wrong. Okay, what do you mean by wrong? Like, what does wrong mean to you? No, it's not a crime, but it is a mean thing to do, and that's what people are looking at you like, like a mean girl who's being a mean person. Nobody thinks that she's like a criminal for this. Like, what do you mean by wrong? Okay. So that brings us back to modern time. Reed and Hallie are back together. They reconciled, they got over their differences. Listen, he was going through something, felt like he needed to find himself with a ginger. Fine, I'm not ginger. I'm not ginger. It's a warm, warm, light brown, warm. The lighting temperature that I'm using here is as hot as it could possibly be because this is so white that I don't want to look like a ghost, but it makes my hair look a little bit extra warm. Okay, look at me, now her. Now me, now her. This is red hair to you. This, compared to that, get fucking real. Peace and love to all the gingers. Shout out Louis McClung. I love his red hair. Also, Louis is so nice. I love Louis. But not this ginger, not Sophia. But not because of the color of her hair, the content of her character is the reason that I don't like her. Okay, with all of this context, let's go back to her talking because if you thought that I was a little bit like, oh, come on, she just has like an LA accent and she's talking. No, 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 no. Now that you know this context, and I put her on 1.5 times speed, by the way, because with these fucking long ass, like, oh, here's a little bit. Sometimes these people take so long to get a thought out. I just, I don't want to put us through that. So sweet and very masculine. Everything about him was wonderful. At the end of the day, he put me in an Uber home and then I went to bed and I was just smiling ear to ear. I wake up in the morning and I'm so excited to look at my phone because I know that this man is gonna text me. Like I know we both enjoy the date. But instead, I look at my phone and I see a message from a random number. The message said, Hi, this is Haley. I'm getting DMs that you were on a date with my ex last night, LOL. I don't want to be weird, but is that true? Just want to know so I can tell people to stop commenting that. And then I didn't answer because... She adds a little text here because while she was talking, she was like, Oh, I don't know. I don't have an excuse for this. I need to think. So then as she's editing it, she says, At this point, I was so confused because he was obviously single. Hey, the entire world is saying that I'm really shitty for doing this, but I have a justification for it. Okay, but it's like Eleanor Roosevelt said, If one bitch hates you, it's like, you don't really have to give it that much credit. But if 
every bitch hates you, you need to have a little bit of self-reflection that maybe they're not the bitches. And then her husband said, That's a big old tree! Shout out Theodore, okay. At this point, I was so confused because he was obviously single. Meanwhile, in the video, I don't know why she posted this. I don't know why she had this tone. I don't know why she thought that this was gonna make her look good or that it would get her clicks or that it would be a positive impact to her life because Reed and Hallie are back together and she's going, I just knew that he was gonna text me because it was such a good date and he put me in an Uber home, such a gentleman. He was so sweet and he loved it so much. I just know he wanted a second date because of how perfect it was and he was so sweet and sexy. That's what you're gonna say to a girl who you objectively were so dirty to, stealing her ex, freshly single, while on a night out with her, and then they get back together and then you make this video just fucking tap dancing on her grave, attempting to? But no, 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 go ahead, Sophia. Tell us more about how Hallie's in the wrong here. What is Hallie in the wrong for? Keep going, Sophia. I don't know, an hour later she said, I keep getting comments about it and I can see that you're active on TT right now, TikTok right now, so I guess I'm just gonna take your silence as a yes. She took it as a yes. I don't answer either of those messages because I don't feel like I have to. He's single and she literally had to introduce herself over text. I've never had a one-on-one -on -one conversation with her. Okay, but Jennifer Lopez is also freshly single, but if she was out with Matt Damon, pictured making out at Nobu, do you think that people would be like, hey, Matt Damon, that's really cool. Do you see my point? But also completely ridiculous, like fictional scenario, that would never happen. If Matt Damon was making out with anybody, it'd be Ben Affleck. But keep going, Sophia, keep talking about how, I didn't do anything wrong. He's so handsome and masculine. While they're back together, you're awful. So finally, the person I want to text me, texts me, and he comes over and brings me coffee before I have to go film. This man and I are just hanging out and chilling until I have to go to work, and his phone starts going crazy. I see the name, and it's her. So I figured he should handle it because it's his ex, and it's not really my problem. And I was like, is this okay? Like, what's going on? And he said, oh, yeah, it's nothing. It's fine. Like, she's never brought your name up once ever since we were ever dating. So, like, basically just telling me he knows we were not friends at all, and it's not my problem and not to worry. Girl, you are adding a lot of additional context and putting a lot of words in this man's mouth who, by the way, chose Hallie over your toxic ass. Am I tripping? No, because that's what happened. The person who I actually want to text texted me. Would she say that? Let me show that again. The person I want to text me texts me. That is so self-satisfied. That is so condescending because we did not fall out of a coconut tree. We exist exist within the context of all that which we live in, all that came before us. We know that they broke up, that she messaged her on the night that they were hanging out, just three people. Oh, it was a work thing, it was a work thing. Was it really a work thing? Was it a work thing when you went to this girl's following list that you were out at a bar with, found her ex-boyfriend, messaged him, went on a date with him? Was that a work thing? So now when you're making this video and they're back together, that's the context we're living in. I'm not watching this video out of a coconut tree. By the way, hey, go to votelikeabeast.com, get registered to vote, see what the issues are and what the politicians are and how you want to vote this upcoming election. Hey, if you can vote, vote. Go to votelikeabeast.com. I really hope Red and Link don't think that that's annoying that I do that. It's just, it's like such a actually a good resource to, I think, get people to vote. Shout out Red Link. Shout out Good Mythical Morning. If I meet them ever in my entire life, I think I'm going to die. Okay, but that's not the point of the video. Okay, keep, 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 do you know me? What's up? It's not a problem. I was like, okay, like, cool. I really wasn't worried at all because I knew I did nothing wrong. I figured I'd just let him handle it because it's his ex and none of my business really. He went downstairs when it was time for me to go to work and I get in my Uber and I look at my phone one more time and guess what? She started posting about me. The video she posted about me immediately got hundreds of thousands of views within hours and she made sure everyone knew it was about me. Go to part two if you want to hear more of the story. Okay, I'll go to part two if I want to hear more of the story. Hey, I wonder if potentially there were a lot of people talking about how you were publicly seen on a date with her freshly ex. And they every, obviously everybody knows about it, so they're talking about it. By the way, they're talking about it because it's a crazy thing to do. Nobody would be talking about it if it wasn't crazy. So Hallie has to sit here seeing all these messages, all these comments. Obviously she has to say something. And then she's sitting here like, well, she made sure that everybody knew it was about me. Well, every Everybody knew it was about you because you're the girl who went on a date with her ex. By the way, to apparently a very like public restaurant. The fact that people spotted it immediately, like it was a known place that they went. Girl, girl, girl. Sometimes I like don't really fully grasp if somebody is actually just this mean or if she's actually like, I don't, I don't want to end up being mean. But at a certain point, when you're posting stuff like this with the context of all in which we live and what came before us, I have to wonder if you're not, if your synapses are not firing in a way that you understand what you look like. Everybody is against you. Like nobody is on your side. If you look at the comments on this video. Oh my God. Hallie is so much better than me. Reed was super talkative. Girl. That's what I was saying. The calm psycho demeanor and voices sending me. Why do I feel like you're not sharing all the details? Hallie's text was 
was so nice to you though. This is the opposite of what a girl's gill is. Exactly. This is in her part two. Just, just let's go through this. I totally get that. I feel for her. You know, we've all been there. We've all been a girl that, you know, a guy takes someone else on a date and you know, maybe makes you sad a little bit. Don't ever use that condescending voice to Hallie ever again in your entire life, Sophia. What are you doing? So with an exclamation point on screen, breaking up sucks. We've all been there. It's really tough. Yeah, I'm so sorry. I mean, he chose me, except that he didn't. He went on two dates with you because he was single and then he was like, oh, I can't do this, I can't do this, I can't do this. And then he went back to the girl that he actually is in love with, allegedly, and then she forgave him. She's stronger than me. And now you're coming on here being like, yeah, it's really tough. Oh. Cruel, I'm sorry. Me doing that voice right now, I caught a little glimpse of myself in the monitor. I wanted to punch the screen. I almost decked myself. That was so annoying. And you did it unironically. So now at this part, she reacts a little bit to a video that Hallie made about her. And she's being really sassy and really condescending. By the way, this is so long after the fact. Like, she obviously is just bringing this stuff back up because they're back together. And I guess she wants press for her podcast with Brad Mondo, which I'll do a little bit of an epilogue with because, girl. But come on, give up. But here's her reacting to a video that Hallie had made. We're at an influencer event. A bunch of people went to a bar afterward and we all bought a round of shots. How you do with work people. So I guess they were saying like they were friends. She bought her shots. Da, 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 da. How is Sophia's response? Okay. <laughs> okay. It was a work event. Oh yeah. We bought people shots at a work event. That's what you do. I have never been at a work event where I've been just at a bar with two other people buying each other shots and then going through somebody's following list and DMing their ex-boyfriend that they just broke up with trying to get on a date with him. I actually don't do that on work events. Generally what I do is work. What do you think work is? Do you think a work event is going to a party and going like this? It's not. Sophia will tell you that that's not work. This is good, Sophia. Good, Sophia. Now, would you consider it work when you go on your Instagram story and go like this and then take a bunch of shots? No. <laughs> okay, thank you. Everybody applaud Sophia. Thank you. Yeah, because it's just, it's just, it's not. You were co-workers when you were at the club taking shots knowing that you were about to go date this girl's ex-boyfriend. Okay, and here's where, the, here's where the tea comes out. So she says, he planned our date probably about a week before I happened to run into her at a work event. Now this is key. And Hallie is going to address that in a second. Because the, the, the narrative, I'm trying to give you the narrative. The narrative has been that she, you know, went through a following list and messaged her. Her ex, allegedly not true. And actually, we're going to get into it. In my opinion, her saying we planned our date probably about a week before I happened to run into her at a work event. When we get to the receipts that Hallie is going to show later, in my opinion, the truth is actually worse. So I, 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 it's hard to be worse. It is hard to be worse. If anything, it's just separate, but equal. Separate, but equal. Uh, but point of that little clip, really, headline is the fact that she's mocking her, like lip syncing her, being like, nah, nah, nah. look. Standing next to me while going through my Instagram following, searching my ex-boyfriend's name. She thought she was eating. She really did think she was eating. She thought two plus nine was eight. No girl, it's 11. By no means am I laughing at her. I totally get being upset over a man. I understand how bad it could hurt. I'm just laughing because none of that happened. Go to part three for like the rest of the story. You're laughing at her. You are laughing at her and you are being mean. I also totally understand blaming the woman and wanting to take it out on the woman. Well, I mean, the situation is that she's back together with Reed and you are the one who's posting and talking about how he's so sweet and so masculine and how he was so talkative and he just he couldn't get enough of you and he just had to text you the next morning because it was such a good day. Girl, that's not a situation of wanting to just hate a woman just to hate a woman. It's not like you were just two people who were just like existing in the world single and then you dated him and it's like, oh, he had been broken up recently. No, no, no. You knew her first and you knew him only through her. And the truth of the situation, okay, a little bit of a spoiler. They had for real planned a date a week in advance, but when they run into each other in an event, really, they were at, a, at an influencer, an influencer thing. And she comes up to her and is like, oh my God, oh my God, I haven't seen you so long, I love you so much. And the truth is that they were talking, like her, Hallie and Jazz, they were like the three of them, like a little unit that night, hanging out being like, oh my God, we should do this more often. Oh my God, oh my God. Whole time, Hallie knowing, tomorrow I'm gonna go on a date with your ex, who you just broke up with. Full time knowing that. By the way, the fact that they planned the date earlier, meaning that it happened probably the second that she found out that this guy was single, that they, 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 they'd broken up. Sorry. God, Joe Biden overtook me for a second there. Uh, we're again. Chocolate, chocolate chip. The fact that it was even quicker of the breakup, that's what I'm saying. Like, it's even worse to go up to a girl knowing that you're about to go on a date with her boyfriend who you reached out to the fucking second that you found out that he was single. Or they maybe they reached out to each other. Girl, Reed's sitting there going, don't you think it's a little bit weird since we just broke up? Her, come on, fuck it. You're single, aren't you? Then going up and seeing the girlfriend, the ex that she just said, nah, fuck it, who cares about her? And then going, oh my God, I love you so much. Oh my God, we need to hang out. More. Ah! Hey, I'll go back to your apartment for this influencer bag. She said, oh, I didn't actually go back to her apartment to get my bag. I would never leave a bag. We're at an influencer event. A bunch of people went to a bar afterward and we all bought a round of shots. How you do with work 
people. She then says, her bag is literally sitting in my closet because we dropped it off at my apartment before going to the bar together. None of that happened. I have never been inside of her apartment. Okay, 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 okay. I, I gotta cut her off a little bit because at the beginning of that, I was just trying to hold it in, but I can't. At the beginning of that clip, she said that we were at an influencer event and then afterwards we went to a bar, like you do with work friends. No, okay, flashback to if I was doing my pool cleaning job, I used to be a pool cleaner. There's so much lore with this pool cleaning job. Genuinely, it was a nightmare. My labor was exploited. No, it for real was, but it was terrible. If after a long day of cleaning pools, getting it set up for the summer, sweating, being drenched, if the guys I was working with were like, hey, you wanna go to the bar and drink? I'd say, fuck no, except for my guy Diego right here who I was working with because we were actually friends. Diego, I would go with, but I wouldn't say that that was a work hangout because if I'm going to a bar with Diego, it's because I fuck with Diego, not because I'm going for work. If it was for work, I would have gone to Austin's Bar and Grill in Olathe, Kansas, where it's, I guess, $5 burgers on Thursdays. Is it Thursdays in Austin? Not Austin, Texas. In Olathe, Kansas, uh, Austin's. I, I hope it's still there. It's like, God, I think it's off of Black Bob. I think it's like 151st in Black Bob. That little area, there's like a Magic the Gathering shop nearby. Anyways, my Olathe head's right now fucking out. Freaking out. Anyways, that is a work thing. At work, on the clock, bro spending $5 to get me a burger. Even then, by the way, I'm not gonna date his ex-wife. But the thing is, if you're going to a secondary location after the work event is done, fuck it, you're, it's not a work event anymore. That's your friend. Like, you're hanging out with your friends. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You are, at the very least, friendly. Nah, you're friends. Fuck it. No, you're friends. If I'm hanging out with somebody in a context and I'm having such a good time with him that I'm like, fuck it, let's keep going with this night. That's my friend, all of a sudden. <sighs> She's just like, she's just, she's just a liar. She's a weaselly little liar. And our hair is not the same color. It's not. You wanna see what my skin looks like in just like white ass, regular ass lighting? Let it adjust. I look like a ghoul, but you can see what my hair color is. Okay, back to, back to reality. Whoa, there goes gravity. Whoa, there goes. There's more. Fuck, there's so much more. This is a real, like, this is a real thing, man. Not, I was not thinking about how much there actually is. Let's get into part three, Sophia. Maybe it's gonna vindicate her. It won't. After all of the lies and the craziness, this man and I were still hanging out and he's still so nice and so fun in person we got some attention and it wasn't good one night we were at a bar he went to the bathroom and this girl tried to fight me and was screaming homewrecker and it never stopped i think i went on three four or five dates with this man total he was so sweet so wonderful i think i realized he was maybe not the one for me and it kind of just dwindled it was like whatever what's the point of coming on and being like he was so sweet we had such a good time like honestly the dates were kind of dreamy and he was amazing and perfect they're back together you're just re-bringing up the wounds and you're trying to like no no twist the knife being like oh actually he was so sweet we had such a good time oh this horrible thing that everybody got mad at me for because i was a horrible person to you yeah well while it was going on it was so sweet and we loved Loved it. I don't know why anybody's calling me a jerk. Oh, it was so much fun. It was nice. I don't know why anybody doesn't like me. I don't know. Maybe it's because that's who you are. Like, I am I? Let's ask the audience. <laughs> you guys know? Ugh. Make that face again. Oh, mm, make that face. Ugh. She thought this was a who the f did I marry? She thought it was gonna be like her whole series, her whole moment where she gets vindicated. Girl, you didn't get vindicated. Trust me, this was the worst decision you could have made. And then her response, by the way to universal hate for this. I cannot emphasize enough, nobody is on this girl's side. I'm definitely not here. Like, I don't think anybody is. Especially when her tone is so condescending, so demeaning, emphasis on the mean. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this response that she makes to the hate. The, the, like, the response to the response that she got for all this stuff is this. Oh my God. Oh my goodness. Some of you guys are acting like I drop kicked someone's puppy. I went on a date with a guy that was single. I guess the paparazzi cared and was commenting on his ex-girlfriend's stuff. For commenting on her post saying that me, Sophie LaCour, was with her ex-boyfriend. His ex-girlfriend texts me and says, hi, this is Hallie, because she knows I don't have her number because we're not friends. I'm getting DMs that you were on a date with my ex last night. Oh my gosh. I'm so sorry, I didn't know you owned him. He wasn't wearing a collar. Not saying that though, is she, uh, Sophia? She's not. She's saying, hey, I'm getting a lot of comments right now that somebody that I was just hanging out with last night and actually having a really fun time and we were like, oh, this work event is so fun. Let's go to the bar, let's get shots. Hey, let me get you some shots, girl. And then you wake up the next morning and you're like, oh, that girl who I was just buying shots for at the bar after the work event when we went to a secondary location because we were having so much fun because we're such good friends. Yeah, sorry, sorry, sorry. That girl apparently was just on a date with my ex-boyfriend who I just broke up with. So I'm gonna reach out to her right now and ask and say, hey, is this true? And your response is, oh my God, I didn't realize he was your dog. Does he have a collar? Do you think you can come online 
and do that, and then people will be like, girl, that was good. Ooh, you kind of tore her up. No, girl, you did not tear her up. You look like an idiot right now. Like, like, what are you doing? You're being so mean. Your response to the criticism for being a very mean girl is to come online and have what Sophia described to me as an evil aura. <laughs> not this Sophia, uh, my fiance Sophia. Everyone in the situation was single and there was no overlap with anyone ever. I didn't answer her messages because I don't owe her anything. He's single. Arrest me. She brought it online, so I feel like it's kind of fair for me to say my side of the story online whenever I feel like it. People are wondering why I'm talking about it when they're back together. I just feel like you did all that online, you brought all this online, and now you're back together with him, but you still all want me dead. He went on the date too. Don't quote me, but I think he was there. I feel like if anyone owed her any loyalty, even though we were all single, it would be him, because they're the ones that dated. That's true. I'm gonna come out on a limb here and say it. Reed shouldn't have gone on a date with your, I don't, okay, I don't wanna say anything mean. Dumbass. I, he shouldn't have gone on a date with your dumbass. And he's a dumbass for doing it. He's a dumbass. He said in the podcast clip that we watched at the very beginning, he learned some things about himself, mostly bad. I wonder what the bad things that he learned about himself were. Oh, that there is an evil part of him that wanted to go on a date with you? The part that wanted to go on a date with you, that's the bad part of him. Obviously, Hallie and him have found some sort of reconciliation. Obviously. So why would we still be, like, mad at him or hating him? If the person that he did dirty by doing that has, like, reconciled with him and forgiven him and clearly offline, they have, like, come to an understanding. Because he's also not an influencer. It's just her. And, you know, he's not the one making a three-part condescending series talking about how the date was so good. He was so perfect. That's you. You're the one who's doing that. That's why you're getting all this hate. Yes, you are allowed to tell your side of the story. Although, I would advise you as your PR manager right now, if your story is you being a jackass? Maybe you don't want to tell that story, especially if you tell that story in a jackass way. I don't know. Also, can I just say, it's so fun to have something like this where it's just like, they're influencers, they're putting everything out there. They do not really have any PR training. They're just being real online. They have these big ass audiences and Sophia clearly thinks that she's fully justified. So she's doing all this stuff. It's so fun. Cause it's like, nobody died. Nobody got hurt. There's no crime. It's just a mean, mean, mean person who is completely oblivious. So much fun. This is what social media was made for. Look at what she's posting online. Like she, she, I, I guess is oblivious that everybody is unanimous on the fact that she's just bad for this. Oh my gosh, she's so oblivious. She's so like unaware of like the reality. She just got this fame and the success and just thinks that I guess that means that she's right and smart, but success doesn't make you smart because look at how she's handling this. Look at this video. I'm so sorry. I didn't know you owned him. He wasn't wearing a collar. I actually hate that little ginger bitch. I hey, it's so funny. By the way, the audio, I, a second ago, was like, I think that's Hallie. Sophia screamed from the other room. That's not Hallie, that's somebody else. Praise God for Sophia. She's the one who brought this whole thing to me in the first place. I, listen, I, this is not on my feet at all. And Sophia said, trust me, you're gonna wanna see this. It'll literally be like 8 a.m. I'm asleep, Sophia with a phone. You're gonna wanna see this. She's posting that like to this day, like after seeing that everybody is against her. I guess just trying to make an audio out of it, like trying to be like self-aware. She did this with an audio. I'll mimic the audio. <laughs> Oh, Anyways, the text says, what if that girl never tried to destroy my character online? She didn't try to destroy your character online. You were publicly seen on a date with her freshly ex-boyfriend. And then Hallie was getting a bunch of comments and a bunch of stuff like, what the hell is going on? So she tried to figure stuff out. And then she obviously had to talk about it because everybody's like, hey, why is your ex-boyfriend that you just broke up with on a date with your friend? Like, what the hell is going on with that? So then she has to say, well, it's this. And then she describes the story. And then the story shows what your character is. And then your character is destroyed because people are now aware of it. I don't know what she thinks. Is, does she think this is like defamation? Is it defamation or a libel? I think it's defamation. Does she think it's defamation? Is it defamation if I punch a kid and then somebody's like, hey, that guy punched a kid. And I'm like, why the fuck are you trying to attack me? Well, if I punched a kid, then I just, I did it. And then people just look at me as somebody who punched a kid. And I wouldn't, by the way, I wouldn't punch a kid. Unless that kid was somebody who I knew was gonna grow up to beat Patrick Mahomes in a football game. I'll do anything for Patrick Mahomes. He brought me three Super Bowls. You don't even understand what that means to a kid who grew up watching Matt Castle. That, nobody cares, let's go, let's go. This video right here is the one that I did see on my feed and I saw it like fully out of context and I was like, what the hell is going on? Look at this, this is like, I don't know how she thinks that this is gonna make her look good. I don't, I don't know what strategy she has. I just have to show you the full thing because it blows my mind what she's doing. I never thought that I would be one of the girls that sets up her camera and cries on the internet. But I genuinely feel like so many people are just coming on here and bullying me for fun. Like I saw a video today and it's a, it's just a video of a girl saying that she wanted to beat me up and it had 
so many likes. Like, I'm scared. Like, thank God I'm okay. Okay, if you guys actually think that I would come on here and cry, you have the wrong bitch. I have to like get out of character now because you guys make me do too much. Like, congratulations, you make a video saying that you want to assault me. Like, do you want a medal, you freak? Oh my god, you're such a good actress. Is that what she wants? Oh, wow, what a good job acting. I would never cast you in a short film. You know why? Because you're a toxic person on set, and I don't want you on my set. I see these videos, and I just go, what are you doing? Get, get somebody who can tell you, like, ah, stop. Pull back, pull back. Somebody said that they want to beat me up online. People say horrible things online. That's part of the job. It is, it is, and it doesn't make it okay. I wouldn't say that I want to beat her up. That's insane. Obviously, that's crazy. Only people I want to beat up is anybody who would grow up to be Patrick Mahomes, which by the way, nobody would ever do that. He's too good. He doesn't even need me for that. But if anybody would ever injure Patrick Mahomes, I'd punch them as a kid. I'd get a time machine and punch them as a kid so they'd never do it. Derwin James, I got my eye on you. Nobody cares about, uh, sorry. Uh, now, look at some comments. Sophia went out of her way, found these comments. Uh, not this Sophia. It's so, my Sophia went out of her way found these comments. This, I'm so glad that I've seen these because it's not just the videos. Look at how she's interacting with people. Why do you always make that weird O oh face in your videos? I see her trying Hallie's bun tutorial. It doesn't look good on you. She said, at least her ex looked good on me. Are you trying to beat the mean girl allegations right now, Sophia? Are you sure that's the best way to do it? At least her ex looked good on me. Meanwhile, they're not exes anymore. They're back together, fully reconciled. Probably had a little bit of a bonding over how toxic you were and how toxic that situation is. Hey, I wouldn't have gone back and dated Reed after this, but clearly they handled things offline privately. Apparently they you know, they had their conversations. I'm not privy to that. They didn't put it online because they're being real about their relationship. And to say with them being back together, at least her ex looked good on me. You aren't like not anything but me. Now, what about this one? Can you talk about how Hallie is back with him? Hallie and her sidekick are the gum on my shoe. They're the gum on your shoe, except that they kind of stopped talking about it back in December, and then you're the one who is currently, in present day, right after they get back together, bringing it up, and then talking about how sweet he is. Are they really the gum on your shoe that's sticking to you? I mean, you're still getting a lot of hate comments about it because you did something that people hate. <laughs> If you're getting hate comments, it means that people hated it. And that's fine. Like people can hate things that you do. You can be a little bit controversial, but what are you gonna, are you gonna act like you didn't do it? If you're not gonna apologize or clarify or explain, then that means you have to stand by what you did, which it seems like that's what she's doing. It seems like she's just standing by it. And like, yeah, that's gonna lead to hate comments persevering, persevering. Oh my God, those hate comments are so strong. Uh, she also tweeted this in 2021. It's unrelated, but it is interesting. Just because there's a goalie doesn't mean you can't score, which is something that people say a lot, but the people who say that are kind of dicks. Generally in my life, I've heard that statement said when somebody has a crush on a girl and then she dates somebody else and then people are like just trying to support their friend and we're like, hey, just cause yeah, she's a goalie doesn't mean it. But you're looking at the guy that she's dating and it's like, she's not gonna ever leave him for you, bro. It's not gonna happen. But you say it because you want your friend to feel like, oh yay, I'm cool. I never said it cause it's cringe, but it's so funny to have that out there. And then it's like, she clearly stands by that and doesn't view it as just a joke. Wow. Okay, I said I'd do a little bit of an epilogue about Brad, Mondo and Sophia, just, just a little bit. They're like, Faking a relationship for their podcast views. And if you're like me, uh, when Sophia was like telling me about this, hi Sophia, she was telling me about this, she was like, yeah, Brad Mondo and uh, Sophia are together. I was like, Brad Mondo? I, I thought he was gay. Cause I thought like that he, I like very openly was gay. I thought. And Sophia's like, yeah, well, I think it looks like they're maybe potentially faking it. I don't know. We don't know, but look at this. Let's bring them out. Can we bring the IMAX out, please? <clears throat> the new IMAX for $19.99. They're in five colors. Okay, so he's calling her his straightener. Hey, if he was gay and he's not gay anymore, hey, sh uh, whatever. Now, do you remember that podcast where they were talking about uh, the Hallie situation in December? Yeah, this was a month after Hallie had posted her podcast episode talking about it. So coming back to that, this is what uh, Brad says in their opening episode of the podcast. I don't know if there's a guy's code. Is there? Is well, not? I'm definitely gay. So okay. <laughs> <laughs> like, I think I can't relate to straight people, I really but know. I will go over what gay being a gay's gay is later. Okay. So when I see that, I'm like, okay, so I, I'm not wrong for thinking that he was gay because he's gay. So that was episode one. But then if you look at like the titles of their other videos, 30 minutes of Brad objectifying Sophia. Is Brad using Sophia for her looks? Brad thinks Sophia is playing games with him. Is Brad Mondo straight? The time Sophia seduced Brad to become straight. Blind pickle taste test with my girlfriend. Sophia has a new boyfriend? Question mark with Brad crying in the thumbnail? Which I guess is just funny, but there's just like, they're clearly trying to fake a relationship. I, I, I guess it's a joke, but there's like really committing to it in a way that's not funny. It's like, they're not really 
really funny and it feels like they're potentially like thinking it's like a bit or they're trying to do like marketing in some way. I, like, I don't know. Maybe he's releasing like a, a hair straightener. Maybe that's the joke. Is that the joke? Like just doing videos like this, like super couple-y videos with a lip sync in. Uh, look at this. Look at this. Are you, uh, 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 I'm not crazy. I'm not crazy. They're, they're acting like that he's not uh, gay anymore. But in a way where they're committing to it so hard and not really like winking at the audience or like it being funny. It's like, it's not really funny if you're just doing it, you know? I don't know. Maybe it's just some highbrow podcast performance art. Fuck, I didn't like saying podcast right after saying highbrow. <laughs> So yeah, they're in a fake relationship. That's that's this little epilogue about that little thing. Just want to throw that in there. I think it's I think it's interesting. I, I don't know what they're doing now. While this has been going on, there has been some other things that have popped up about Sophia. This is a video where the creator doesn't name Sophia by name, but she tags Hallie in the comments, so we know who it's about. And let's just watch a little bit of it. She starts the video by saying this. Okay, so hypothetically. What if there was an influencer that was doing a tell-all about this relationship that she broke up, right? And what if hypothetically I happened to be in an acting class with her a couple of months ago? And what if in this hypothetical scenario, she would not shut the fuck up about this situation? Like took every opportunity she could to talk about it and not even talk about it, but like boast and brag about it to like 10 people that could give less than a fuck about who she was or the situation. Like what if? And then uh, hashtag Hallie K right there. In an acting class full of people who don't know anything, bragging about this, bragging about it. That is so embarrassing. That's really, really embarrassing to have this come out. Why would you be doing this? This is her saying hypothetically what Sophia said to her. This is what Sophia said to her in the acting class. And they always go back to a blonde and like stared at me. And I was like, whoa, whoa. I thought it was about me, but it was really about the girl. Hallie. Oh. Hypothetically. Hypoth Listen, I'm sorry earlier when I was saying that I'm not fighting the ginger allegations because I think that gingers are lesser as people. I'm not. You can have red hair and be great. Some of the best people I know have red hair. It's just not me. But it sounds like Sophia has a little bit of a complex, a little bit of like an envy type situation. And I, I, you know, I'm going to go out on a limb. Just because you have red hair and some other girl has blonde hair doesn't mean that you should be really mean to her and then you be, do everything that Sophia's done. That's the story though. And there's also this other one. Uh, this one's great. Here's what bro says at the Intro. I'm literally in Shanghai, China right now, but I need to talk about the redhead girl that everybody's talking about because guess what? I went to school with her. Not high school. I went to college with her for our first year in 2019. And I definitely would not call us friends, but I saw her very frequently. We had a lot of classes together and we had mutual friends. And there were a lot of weird instances with her that I can recall. One being that she was literally just a Trump supporter. And then when she got followers during COVID, she unfollowed all of the Trumps on social media. And I've heard way more conservative values from other people, but none of that surprised me because she just comes from like a wealthy family in New Jersey that like sent her to New York for school. But we all lived in this a wealthy family in New Jersey who sends her to New York and she is in college a Trump supporter. And then she gets a bunch of followers and then deletes all the, the followings. Being a Trump supporter in college. Oh my God. A wealthy person from New Jersey going to New York. You are literally in the Trumps. Like you, you that's who you are. I'm not shocked. I'm not surprised. She does seem like somebody who's just out of touch completely and very delusional in a way that's like, she just doesn't feel like she can see what is actually happening in the world. Like, it doesn't feel like she actually has like an empathetic understanding of how people are viewing her. Because if she could extend that empathy and be like, okay, well, how, why, why do people hate me so much right now? Maybe she would shut the fuck up and stop doing all this stuff. But finding out that she's a Trump supporter as well makes a little bit of sense. Quick side note about Donald Trump. Listen, the race somehow is still like not a like unanimous. People are still gonna vote for Donald Trump. This is like, I'm preaching to the choir, obviously. But what I don't understand is he tried to overthrow like America democracy. He tried to do that. Are we gonna act like he didn't do that? Like he's, he tried to do that. They said, hey, Joe Biden won because of he got more votes and he won. And then he said to all of his like uh, friends who, who like him, I want all of you to go take it back. And then he uh, riled him up and was like, no, we won, we won. They're, they can't steal from us. And and then he got a fucking coup and they stormed the Capitol and tried to overturn the election and kill the people who were there and motherfuckers trying to get the job back? You're trying to get the job back and go back with these coworkers who you tried to have fucking killed? So that you could overthrow the government? And we can vote for him? It's like, he's on the ballot. It's like, that's a fair option. The guy who tried to overthrow the government. Hey, if we elect him this time, surely he won't do it again. What the fuck? How? That's what, hey, he tried to overthrow American democracy. I'm like, and that's who she liked in college. Now, she got popular in 2020. So to my understanding, that would mean she'd have to be a Trump supporter throughout his whole presidency. Throughout it. Not like, oh, so like January 6th happens and then she gets popular and she's like, oh, I'm popular now? Now I can't fuck with you. But when you're trying to overthrow the world, honestly, kind of sick. Yeah, I don't like her. Can you believe it? I just don't like her after all this. I don't know. Sophia's still talking about it though. St after all of this is coming, I'm still talking about it. Girl, shut the fuck up. Like, stop. 
Stop! Look at this, look at this. So, uh, Brianna Chicken Fry had a lot to say about me. She made like two TikTok videos and brought me up on two different podcasts. Who the fuck are these people? Uh, no, it's actually the craziest shit on the internet. This redhead girl is delusional, diabolical. That's what I've been saying. She is delusional and diabolical. Hey, keep Brianna Chicken Fry's name out of your fucking mouth, Sophia. You said one fucking word about her or Zach Bryan, then I'm gonna uh, uh, once again say, you suck. <laughs> Don't make me say it. Like the weirdest person I've ever met. <laughs> Thank you. Brianna, you have like 10 times the amount of followers as me and you're dating Luke Bryan. Like Zach Bryan, oh, you suck. I told you not to say it, you suck. Luke Bryan, I know you know his name's not Luke Bryan. He's on a very successful tour right now. How dare you? Listen, I know it might surprise you, but I was born in Kansas. So there is a part of me that I do. Listen, I hear country, I hear good country music and a part of me is like, fuck, this is kind of, I, I, it's in my blood, it's in my bones. Look at me right now, look at this, look at this, look at this. I got camo jorts on right now. But I have tattoos because I want people to think that I'm so cool. Anyways, you suck, Sophia. Not my Sophia. Oh my God, I love my Sophia. Now, finally, in conclusion, yes, yeah, just a second ago after like, before recording this video, sorry, I gotta breathe for a second. Hallie made one final video and she's like posting some receipts. So I wanted to show through this, this a little bit. Now these are screenshots from Reed's phone. So looky here, first message. Hi, hi, hey. This is my impression of Sophia. Hi. Reed said, hi, all caps, because he doesn't fuck around. She said, when's our first date? Uh, hello? Hello? Pretty bold of you. I'm out of the city this week for the holiday. And she liked it. She said, okay, like it. Hi, when's our first date? Like. And look at this, look at this. Additional context. Exchanged numbers and they coordinated a date. They have zero mutual friends. The only reason that she even knows this man exists in the world is because of me. She actually commented on my hard launch video of Reed, men with cauliflower ear love. They had a date set up for Friday night. Thursday night, the day before, I went to an event and immediately when I walked in, Sophia came up to me. She told me how much she loved me, how much she missed me, how she had the best time with me in Houston and we should book a flight back there together. It was just being really sweet. Houston? Talking about my city, H-Town, hold it down. Chopped and screwed. Indianapolis Colts? Cornbread, oxtail, this is neck bone. That's a reference three people are gonna get. Okay, oh my God, commenting on her hard lunch, men with cauliflower ears, Ugh, love. I got a couple of things to say to you, Sophia. I got two words actually. You suck, you suck. It is named Zach Bryan, oh my God. She's so petty in all of her videos, she just finds some way to act like, mm, I'm better than you, let me be a little bit condescending. Girl, shut up. So if anyone wants to come out here and say, oh, what if, what if Reed actually reached out to her? Well, did he? No, she said, hi. He said, hi. She said, so when's our first date? He said, that's pretty bold. And then, you know, he went and he did it, but let's not act like it's anything but what it was. We exist in the context of all in which we, okay, come on. Point being, girl, Sophia, please take a look at this and have a little bit of like self-reflection. She's not going to, she said she's a Trump supporter. In 2020, while he was doing the coup. Oh my God, during the coup being like, ah, oh, fuck, I can't believe this is going on. Yeah, I know it's terrible, right? Yeah, I just wish I could be there with all those patriots. Get real, Sophia. Not my Sophia. She brought this to my attention and we love her. What am I talking about? Thank you so much for watching this video. If you watched this whole thing and you haven't subscribed, you have to. I love you so much. I won this at a, uh, a carnival yesterday. I know what you're thinking right now. That's big as hell. Probably a grand prize for some hard ass thing. It was, it was so hard. It was, well, actually it wasn't hard for me. Everybody else, nobody got anything. Nobody got anything. I didn't see anybody get anything. Then all of a sudden, it's one of those ones where you have to go like this and you have to like get a ball in the middle of these two things. I don't think you understand what I'm talking about. It's just like rigs to be impossible. And I did it. I did it. Look at him. Look at him. What's his name? Uh, comment below uh, what you think the draft should be named. And everybody else who doesn't watch these parts of the videos is going to be so fucking confused. Ah!